the camping randomizer landed me today at Meyer Big Island State Park. M Y R E. Is it Meyer? I think. Meyer? Okay. Just a stone's throw from Albert Lee in southern Minnesota. I'm actually camping in the Big Island part of it, which you can't tell. Over there in the little distance there, there's a lake, but basically this is surrounded other than a road. If you could see through all the trees, it would be an island. You'll have to believe me. Today's the third week in October. It is the last 70 degree day in the foreseeable future. It's gonna drop into the 50s for highs, I think. After today, I was hoping for a spot closer to the lake, but I also didn't want to be right on top of other people, so this is the spot I chose. Huge spot there for the tent. The only downside is if people look, are looking for water, but I don't think they will be, because there are not very many people here. Anyways, get the tent up, we'll check stuff out. Might even sneak across the border to Iowa. All right, <clears throat> all set up. Second time I get to use my new sleeping bag. Last time it got down to 49-ish, I think, and it was quite toasty in it. First new sleeping bag in a really long time. So I was excited to get that. Next year, I think it'll be time for a new tent or two. This one is getting quite old. A lot of room in the campsite. Time to go walk around and see what there is. Back in the distance there is where I'm camped. Shh, turn around. Got the beautiful lake. We'll try to get a little closer too. And just the beautiful fall colors. Absolutely best time of year to go camping, in my opinion. The only downside to this time of year is daylight is less and less. <clears throat> it's about three right now, and which means there's only three hours of daylight left, about three, three and a half. Lake Albert Lee is what it is. By the way, I always forget to say this at the beginning, which I should. Um, please subscribe if you could. I know my brother-in-law watches some of these videos. He has yet to hit the subscribe button. Absolutely beautiful colors with the sun beating down on these trees. And the green into yellow color. It's absolutely beautiful.
The biggest question I get from people and like at work, don't even know I have this YouTube channel, is what do you do? Look at that down there, it's gorgeous. When you go camping and the answer is uh, kind of whatever you find. What was probably my last video, I didn't get into the state park I wanted to, so I got into the private one. And the private campground had horseshoes and a swing, and that's what I did. And it was fun. So, I don't know. Camping is just kind of... Whatever you find. And today... Just absolutely beautiful fall. Off in the distance there, and I don't think the camera's gonna get it, but can't zoom in quite good enough, but there is a deer hanging out over there. Or a large dog. I'm pretty sure it's a deer though. Stopped in Northwood, Iowa, just across the border, to visit Worth Brewing Company. This old building. Gonna give it a little check out. Back at the campsite, and it's time to get dinner going. Because we are losing daylight quickly. And it's only 6 p.m. Oh, fall. Tonight we're keeping it simple. Just a few pasta nests in there. And some really thin chops, pork chops. Won't take very long to cook. But since we're almost out of daylight, probably won't see them when they're done. Because it's gonna get dark very soon. Probably can't see him, but there's a giant raccoon right there. <laughs> By my car. What am I gonna do? This thing is big as a dog. Um, yeah, okay. I'm gonna get in my tent right now. What a difference a day makes. It's about 20 degrees colder. Just started raining. Which these trees will block some of it while I take down my tent. So last night, I could shine my flashlight all over there and there were just eyeballs glowing at me, which were, I believe, deer. And then before I went to bed, there was a ginormous raccoon which I think I recorded but I don't know how that worked out you could probably 
wouldn't they be able to see anything. Evidently, it's, I just talked to the campground host and that guy is a, a frequent visitor of the area, so. But rain is definitely moving in, so it's time to pack up. So this is the little road that goes between the lake, one side of the lake, the other side of the lake, and you drive in. <clears throat> Looking from there to here, <laughs> this way, and then back in is this is the actual island back there. I mean, would it be considered a peninsula actually with this on here? I don't know. Easily spooked, but it is duck hunting season. Nice and clear that way, but this way... That's where the storms are coming. So this park doesn't have any great waterfalls or anything like that, but they've got a lot of beautiful hiking paths to come on. Waterfowl. Plenty of that. See, they agree. having a late morning huddle over there. <coughs> I know, um, just beautiful hiking trails. And there's biking trails too. So. Well, that's all from Meyer Big Island State Park. There was a secondary campground that I didn't stay in here, further away from where I stayed. So there are nearly a hundred campsites at this place. And again, there's no major attraction, but tons of hiking and biking trails. Wetland, grassland, some woods and a giant raccoon that lives in the one campground, I guess. Thanks again. One last little bonus to this video. When you do come here, pay attention to this sign that says rough crossing for those railroad tracks. I went way too fast yesterday. I thought my vehicle was gonna get destroyed. Just a little tip. Thank you. <laughs>